Um, so this is what I've been hanging out in this evening. I went to the supermarket. Okay, I didn't have on the heels, but I threw on some really cool flip flops with this fit. Um, so I'm rocking this Good American cutoff shorts, okay? This is my first time in Good American and I wanna tell you, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Like I said, I've been hanging in it, in it, in it all evening and these shorts are the move, okay? Uh, I've never been more comfortable in a pair of cutoffs, okay? So let's get into the video. This video is about how you can rock cutoff shorts at any age in a mature way, okay? Because even if you're 22 rocking cutoff shorts, you can do it in a mature way so that it has like this sophisticated appeal if you want that. Not everyone wants that. Some folks just want to put on some, you know, beat up boots, cut off shorts, a rocker tee, and just call it a day, right? It varies. It depends on the person, all right? So if you're the kind of person where you want to sophisticate it up a little bit, I figured I would make a video for you and give you some ideas. I have a couple of looks that I want to show you guys and for like a day and then like an evening look and just give you some chic with the cutoff short to make it more you if that's what you're seeking. You know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more, um, I don't believe that you should stop wearing cutoff shorts when you turn a certain age. I think that that is baloney. Yeah, I said it. I think it's baloney. I don't know who went and, and made up that lie, but it, it's, it's not true. I mean, I think for the traditional woman, there is some reality in that. You know, it's, it's, it's what the traditional woman knows and, and they kind of stick by that. But I don't think that it has to be this thing that that folks have to live by because i think that it's restricting i think that it's inhibiting to believe that you cannot wear short shorts at a certain age or or also the lie that you cannot wear short shorts <laughs> cut off shorts if you are of a certain size let's get into that okay so i don't believe that i don't buy into that i don't live my life that way and I do not encourage other women around me to live their lives that way if they come and ask me for, you know, answers regarding their clothing, okay? I'm all about embracing your body, embracing you. Because listen, at the end of the day, we all have this one life to live right here, right now in this time, space, reality for right now, okay? And if I, Tamara Nicola, have to think about not showing my knees and my thighs at the age of 80 because I have to cover them up to make others comfortable because they don't see the they don't want to see the wrinkles in my knees. Okay. At 80, I'm sure I'm gonna have great knees because my grandmother is in her 80s and she has lovely knees. She has beautiful legs. Okay, so I'm not gonna buy into that. That sunlight is gonna hit these legs at 80, okay? It's gonna hit these thighs. Let's get into the fit. Like, I don't wear this blazer. <laughs> and I'm starting to think, like, what the heck is wrong with me? I have to stop wearing, wearing this blazer because I love it. I love the close fit. It's so tailored. It's so beautiful. It's by T. Tahari. And I love that it has, like, this mesh going on here along the neckline it's, it's, it's for everyone right so they're making these bralettes for people who so true and company is making these i love i love this bralette that i have on i decided to put this on because it's also comfortable and it really goes nicely with the material of this blazer the blazer is polyester um I believe it's a polyester blend i have to let you guys know i'll, I'll tell you but um it's, it's a really smooth type of feel and i felt like this true and company bralette would go great with that they are doing big things true and company for women with bigger breasts okay i have never felt more comfortable in a bralette and this bralette i could wear without a bra underneath i could just wear it like it is because it has straps that come along with it and i can adjust the straps so it's just 
freaking beautiful. I'll show you guys a close up so you can check them out because they are sold on Amazon and um, they're not they're, they're not that pricey, but they're like within the $40, $50 range. And I think it's worth it. Honestly, I think it worth, it's worth it. If you're going to get the black, though, the black is like, right now, it's like $20. It was cheaper the other day, and then it went up, okay? So keep checking. But I got the black because it's my standard color, and I know that it goes with just about everything. But I also want to get like white and something else that's pretty colorful. So I'm going to be spending a pretty penny, but it's it's totally gonna be worth it like I even tossed a few actually I'm releasing I'm giving away a few of my other bralettes because the quality of this is just so good it fits me so much better so I put this true and company bralette underneath and um, like I said these good American cutoff shorts the thing about these good American shorts is they are a comfortable fit. And uh, when it comes to cutoffs, for me, I don't want any I don't want anything that's like too tight in my private area. So that's really important for me. So I love that they're comfortable, they're a little bit high up on the waist, and it has a little little bit of recycled polyester, like 7%. Yay for 7% recycled polyester. And then the rest is like cotton and a little teeny bit of stretch, like 1%. Um, and I, I love the design of these and I just love how they fit me and they're comfortable. Like I said, that is number one for me. I would say Good American is a really good brand for cutoffs because they have different sizes and they cater to different shapes. They cater to curvy bodies, they cater to slender bodies. So you get a mixture of different things. So uh, I, I feel like they are really innovating, you know, the whole cut off short notion and how you should feel wearing them. So I feel like it's a really innovative approach. Like I have never tried on any cutoff shorts this comfortable, not even Levi's, okay? Um, so I wanna, I wanna learn more about that brand, okay? So I figured the blazer would dress things up a little bit. So if you're looking to elevate your cutoff shorts, you really don't know what to do with it, but you don't wanna do like t-shirts and jeans, you want a more mature, sophisticated type of look, I would say go for a colorful blazer, something really fitted. I feel like with cutoff blazers, something fitted is like really, really cool for that chic, like tailored, sophisticated type of look. So that's what I decided to do, to do today. And white is my pop of color for today. I wanted to go bold with white. Like I said, I barely wear this, this blazer. So I wanted to wear it and make myself pop with this color. Um, and I love where the blazer stops. So you can see a little bit of the shorts, okay? And I'll link for you guys uh, other good American shorts because I wasn't able to find this online. I actually got this in store. So in the store. So um, so yeah, let me show you how I decided to finish off this look, okay? Yeah, I also added my bling earrings, my bling heart earrings. You cannot go wrong with a pair of heart earrings or a pair of star earrings. Just talk about classic, but I, I feel like the size of them makes it so contemporary, so now, right? So a little bit of bling, and then I'm going to put on these Adrian Fettadini mules. These like PVC mule sandals. They are not leather, and they are so, so chic. I got these from Macy's, like, I'm gonna say like last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on. I, dressing these shorts up just really does something different for them. I feel like dressing them up really goes into the sophisticated arena. So really be mindful of the pieces that you want to match with your cutoff shorts. I feel like rich looking pieces as far as like the, the feel, the make, the look, right? So it looks like quality when I say rich looking pieces. Like quality pieces that are giving off expensive okay those pieces are really gonna make your cutoff shorts shine and I think it's gonna take less attention from the, the cutoff shorts and put attention onto your entire outfit okay so just be mindful of that and I'm going to add a clutch to this uh, Badgley Mishka my Badgley Mishka it's like a 
a kind of blush pink, kind of in the nude arena color. And I like it because it goes with just about everything and anything. So I'm just gonna throw, throw this clutch with this outfit and I feel like I'm ready to go. This is the evening look for cutoff shorts. We're in cutoff shorts for the mature and classy, sexy yet vibrant woman. Okay, let's get into it. Because we're not dumbing down our style to please others at any age. Get into it. And I took some pictures out back to show you guys. Yes! Let's get into the next look, okay? And with this look, I wanted to keep things just a little lighter just more casual for like a day out, you know, with your boo, or just a day out, you know, just hanging out with friends, you know, grabbing a little bite to eat, getting some tapas. The Silk Blouse by Ella Gens. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's L apostrophe A-G-E-N-C, Le Gens, Le Gens. I have to figure out how that's said. So guys, this is the second look and I have some shades in hand because this is supposed to be for like a more daytime, dressy, casual type of look. I decided to rock these, these um, leather shoes that I got from a boutique like about eight years ago, okay? And um, they're still holding up so well. I don't really wear them that much. and. You've probably seen me in my earlier style videos in these, but these are really, really chic. You know, I don't, oh, this little dust here. I don't think that it's anything that I'm going to get rid of anytime soon or release to others. I really do love this shoe. I love the point in the front and I love the heel, the shape of the heel. And they hold up really, really well. I've taken them to the, the, the shoe repair like once before to keep them going. So I'm all about leather goods and repairing them at the shoe repair or at the leather repair spot i mean it really keeps items going for longer and so i decided to put this look together because i felt like you know once again here we go with the rich type of top right like a rich type of look it looks like silk it feels like silk. it feels really good so you're gonna feel really good in it and uh, the print on it, it has like this type of floral print, but not too much. Like the, the colors are all type of subdued. And I feel like that helps to make the top look a little bit more sophisticated. And then also with the cutoff shorts, it just ties in really well together. You know, like a, a print with denim, I, I do love to see it, okay? So, I decided to add to make this a little bit more sophisticated I have this other clutch with a nice gold chain link here a chain handle so I figured this is by Elisabetta Frenchy I've got this a few years back and this is holding up so well it's authentic leather and I figured it would go really nice with the shoes and it would make like a statement like I said take the look off of the cutoff shorts I mean, you, you want them to see the legs, but I mean, that's not what it's all about, right? It's really about the fit, okay? So you're bringing attention to the rest of the outfit. So here I'm doing it again, right? Something bold, something with a print, right? Something to say, I put some thought into this cutoff short look and I'm making it work for me, okay? Because I'm all about, you know, edgy type of sophistication. So mixing the two together in this look, I feel like it really works for me. I have a balance of the cutoff and the, the, the distress look, and then I have something, you know, more modest up top, but then I unbuttoned it up here at, at the very top just to give it a little bit more trendy kind type of feel. You know, I want a more relaxed look, so. I feel like I achieved what I was going for. And to top this look off, I'm gonna put on my favorite Sunnies by Prada. I feel like some round shades or some aviator shades would go really great with this print. So, here it is. And I love this look. I think it's beautiful. I think it's chic. I think it's me. 
I think it's cutoff shorts approved. It's a cutoff shorts approved type of outfit, okay? Don't let anyone tell you that you cannot rock your cutoff shorts at any age or any size. Just try to find the right cutoff shorts for you, the right brand that fits you the way you want to feel. Because, you know, as we get older, our hormones are shifting, our bodies are shifting along with the hormones, things are just changing for us. And I feel like it's really important to honor that and to, and to listen to that those changes and to find ways to pick out things that reflect those changes so that we feel like ourselves and we don't feel like we're also living in a different body, you know, like wearing, like I had to, to release some cutoff shorts that just didn't suit the way my body was looking right now because I do yoga now. You know, I don't have the same type of body that I used to. My hormones have changed. So I don't have the same type of body that I used to have and I cannot deal with, you know, cut off shorts that are too tight in my middle section. I can't do it. So I knew that those were not the shorts for me. That was no longer the brand for me. And I've been replacing my short shorts with other brands that I love. Like I said, Good American is a very good choice. <laughs> Good choice, good American, yeah. Also added some jewelry, some gold jewelry to give a little boom, boom, sha da da boom, okay? And my necklace here that, that, with the drop pendant, all right? So, and then the drop earrings, okay? Just little subtleties to bring this look together. 